Hello guys, welcome back to Elon App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to use Civitai. So if you're interested, let's start tutorial. So we all know that AI is a very helpful tool to use on a daily basis. Maybe for uh, generating responses or even generating images, Civitai or any AI out there can be really helpful, especially if you're looking for a very specific image. Now in this case, we'll be discussing Civitai here. So Civitai is a platform wherein you could just basically generate images from prompts now if you notice like for example in facebook twitter uh, x or twitter tiktok or even in instagram you notice that there is going to there are going to be videos or posts about ai or ai generated images now in this case we'll be using one of those platforms here now in this case what we need to do first is we need to go to any browser that we have right now go to civitai.com and from here what we need to do first is we need to sign in so typically at the top right of your screen, you should be able to click on the sign in button here and you have the following option to sign in. Now we have the manual option here which includes entering your email here and click on email here to sign up. But you also have the Discord, GitHub, Google and Reddit option here if you want to use those accounts or connect those accounts into Civitai here. So maybe I want to use Google here, let's just choose Google and we want to choose our account here. So once we've chosen that, it's going to reload itself and basically sign us in. Now, once I uh, signed in, it's going to give us in the onboarding process here. So we have the terms of service. So I do have to warn you or inform you that it's really important that you read through the terms and service or any actually any applications or any service or privacy policies that you see here so that you'll be able to start protecting yourself and be informed what is allowed and not allowed within the platform itself. So let's go ahead and accept this one, but make sure that you read through all this one. Also, it's going to ask you to enter your email here as well as your username. So I'm going to use this one since I use my Google account. I want to retain that. And in here, what we need to do is content experience. So personalize your AI content exploration. Find your experience, uh, preferences for a delightful and safe privacy experience. Now to fo uh, basically further customize your account here, you might want to add a hidden tags here that you want to choose. Like for example, you want to see anime or characters or style here. If you also, if you also want to you or see mature content here you could also enable that one but in this case there's going to be a lot of uh, options that you'll be able to see here but if you want to disable this one make sure that you disable it but if you want to see it make sure that you enable it this way now in this case, if you also have the option to send me the Civitai newsletter here, so if you want to receive news about the platform and their services here that they offer, you could go ahead and enable this one. But for now, I'm going to click on save here. And from here, we'll be redirected to the experience. So spend buzz. So I got some buzz. Here's what you can do with it. So you can train, tip an artist, bounties, get showcase, top merch, and shop badges and cosmetics. Now you also have the earn best by basically uh, using or getting referrals, bounty, submit your work to a bounty to win buzz, purchase, so purchase buzz directly, and get tip. So create awesome content. Now, in this case, uh, to get you started, you they will actually grant you 100 buzz here as a gift. So you could basically start using the platform itself using the buzz that you'll be getting when you sign up. So in this case, let's just click on done here. So I just have to warn you, you only have 100 buzz here. So there's going to be a limit on how do you act, you'll be able to use the service that I have right now. Now, if you want to buy your buzz here, you can go and click on that, click on buy buzz here, and you'll be able to add additional buzz into your account. Now, for us to get started creating our images, let's click on the create at the top right here. And from here, we have different options that we want to uh, basically fill up. So in here, first thing you want to do is you want to confirm I start generating here. So there's going to be image generation terms here. Again, make sure that you read through the terms of service and content policies here. So for now, I'm going to confirm and start generating here. And from here, what we need to do is start adding our prompts. Now here, we want the uh, uh, model here. I'm going to retain the model here, but if you want to swap this to a different one, you could go ahead and search and add a model here. Now, I also have the additional resources here. If you want to add resources, you could go ahead and do that. And we also have the prompt. So the prompt is going to be really important. It's going to be the basis of the image that we'll be generating. So maybe you want to say uh, Mona Lisa that has a cat for a head. So maybe you want to uh, get a image of this one. So the content or the capacity of your image here actually depends on your imagine imagination and how will you actually describe 
your prompt or what you need here to appear. Now, we also have the negative prompt here. So if you actually don't want to us, if you don't want like for specific something appearing on your image, you could basically describe it here. Like for example, remove master mustache, remove a sky, make sure that uh, the prompt or make sure the uh, character is not outside. You can go ahead and enter those prompt. So it's going to avoid or the generation process here is going to avoid that specific prompt that you enter here. Now, also your generation may still be blocked by provider due to flaws in their filters. So if you want to include mature content here, you can go ahead and enable that. We also have the aspect ratio here if you want to further customize the size of your image. So maybe you want to use portrait here and they also have the advanced here. But in this case, if you're not aware on how to use this one, I suggest you to not use this one because they have CFG scale here, sampler, which is all the advanced stuff. So we have steps here as well and seed and clip skip here. But for now, we're not going to use this advanced here and we want to basically change the quality here if you want to but I'm going to retain this to 4 and from here I want to click on generate now it's going to start generating that so just wait for it to generate and as you can see it's going to start generating that and as you can see it's not exactly what we wanted here but we could definitely see the cat here so when we click on it it should actually make our image a lot bigger here so it's not exactly what we're looking for here you could go back and uh, I'll regenerate again so let's just go back real quickly here to generate uh, okay so in here, you could go ahead and adjust your prompt here again and enter the correct one. So as you can see, I tried using other prompts here. So the closest thing that I could get here is this cat that is in the painting, which is kind of similar with the Mona Lisa or the Mona Lisa here that has cat ears. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and use whatever here. Like, for example, you want to get this cat here and you want to download this cat. Just go ahead and open up this image. Just right click on it and just click on save image as and just click on save. And when we actually open this up, you should be able to see the image is now downloaded into your computer for personal use. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and start using the services and whatever you want here. So, yeah. So if also there is also an option for you to basically search for other images or already uh, generated images here on the platform itself. Now here in the home, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of images here that we can see. So they have this beautiful lion here. We also have this dragon here and this beautiful cake here, our strawberry cake. Now they have this gummy bear here as well. So if you want to view them, just click on that image here. And you should be able to see that image and basically view other stuff here. Now in the right side here, if you want to know how they actually uh, basically generate this image here, they have this prompt here. So the more descriptive you are with your prompt, the better the image that you'll get for CVTI here. Now also negative prompt is something really important. So if you want to basically remove some of the images here, like for example, picture frame, armor, unnatural face, unnatural body, error, bad image, and a lot more. So those are just the example. Now in this case, they also have the description option here. So you could go ahead and add a thumbs mark here, heart or laughing face here, and a lot more. So if you want to follow that creator, just click on follow or free. If you want to tip them, go ahead and click on tip here and you'll be able to tip them depending on how you want, you want to actually tip them. So yeah, so that's how you use Civitai here and that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Yelan app. Thank you for watching.